Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is the difference between a CPU and a GPU? So as we know, CPU full form is central processing unit and GPU full form is graphics processing unit. And the CPU, we have uh, so many popular vendors like uh, Intel and AMD, both are the most reputed vendors. So I took the example of one of the Intel processor, integrated electronics, and that there are so many uh, varieties of uh, models of Intel processor. I took the example of Intel Xeon processor, okay? And the GPU, also, we have uh, so many vendors. The most popular vendor is NVIDIA. NVIDIA only introduced the GPU processor for the first time in 1999, okay? And there are so many other GPU models. I took the example of GTX. And similarly, we also have a NVIDIA A10, A100, A100 with 40 GB, A100 with 80 GB, and so on, okay? And CPU, normally, it uh, it provides low latency and when compared to gpu gpu provides high throughput okay and can do a handful of operations at once and when it comes to the gpu gpu can do thousands of operations at once okay how come it doing a thousands of operation at once means the only difference is the cpu comes with several cores but in the gpu comes with many cores several cores means in intel we have a course like dual core quad core octa core 16 core 32 core and so on similarly even in the G, uh, gpu also we have a compared to processor cpu we have so many cores for example let's say in this diagram i took the example of several cores let's say one green color box is represented as a one core if you count here each row we have a four cores and totally we have a four rows that means four multiplied by four it's a 16 core processor suppose when compared with a gpu how many cores means it's not like a 16 core or 32 core it comes with so many cores okay so the difference is if you want to perform any operation these operations also optimally cpu is suitable for serial task and gpu is optimized for many parallel tasks here for our easy understanding we'll take an example suppose if you go for a restaurant restaurant is running with a 16 dining tables so 16 dining tables means all the 16 uh, any of the all the tables are occupied that is a serial task suppose after 16 uh, 16 desks are already dining tables are occupied if any other new family come they have to wait until any one dining seat has to be empty that is the serial task when it comes to the many parallel task means here we do not have not only 16 dining tables we have so many dining tables so whatever the uh, families coming all can occupy the all the dining tables that means it is a, in, in uh, cpu it's more suitable for the serial task when it comes to the gpu it's more suitable for the parallel task okay that's the reason i took the example of dining table in a restaurant okay now Another difference is a CPU is a general purpose processor. Even we can use a processor, Intel process, normally from the laptops, desktops, and server models. And same way, when it comes to the GPU, if you want to use, there is definitely there will be a special purpose if you want to use a GPU. The main use cases for the GPU is, it's like if you want to use for a gaming, and if you want to do, do any video analytics, or if you want to run for a AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning, deep learning, any special kind of this requirements only, we can use GPU, graphics processing unit. Okay, so, the uh, when it comes to the cpu the processing speed of cpu is less compared to gpu but in the gpu the processing speed of gpu is very high and the memory requirement in cpus is more but when it comes to the gpu memory requirement in gpu is less one example as i mentioned if you are buying a uh, nvidia a100 it's available in a multiple memory requirements, A100 with 40 GB memory, A100 with 80 GB memory, okay? So this is the high level 
difference between CPU and GPU. So most of the time nowadays, if you are implementing any of the special use cases like VDA, VMware virtual desktop infrastructure, in our server motherboards, including the CPU, we also need to insert the GPU. Even if you see the GPU icon here, yeah, GPU actual processor, this processor is also have a slot. This slot can be inserted on a PCA slot, peripheral component interconnect. And the Intel processor already it's inserted in a motherboard CPU socket, but in the GPU, it's not like a CPU socket. There is a PCA interconnect. So we have to insert in the PCA slot. Even for servers, some servers supported for two GPU, for GPU and so on. It depends on the server models. Okay. And a specific uh, NVIDIA qualified system uh, com comparisons and compatibilities, I will explain in the next session. Okay. That's it. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.